What's up gearheads? Dino at Speed Circuit here, and today we're going to cover my last race of the 2021 season. Now the car I race is a Formula 5, otherwise known as a Formula 500. It has a two-stroke snowmobile motor in it that's about 500cc, makes about 106 horsepower, and the whole car with me in it weighs just over 800 pounds. In order to maximize track time, you'll see a mixed class of cars running on the track at the same time. So most of the cars on this track are going to be Formula Ford. There's also CF, which I believe is Classic Ford. Sometimes you'll see Formula Atlantic, Formula Continental, even some Prototype 1 and Prototype 2 cars. But in general, they will try to run all the cars that are open wheel on the track at the same time due to safety reasons. On this particular weekend, I was the only F5 on the track, so as long as I finish my races, I'm going to win by default. That being said, just because we're in different classes doesn't mean we're not trying to beat each other. I mean, the cars have different advantages and disadvantages, but at the end of the day, you're still trying to win. There's going to be some cars out there that you simply cannot beat because they're just better cars and faster cars. But in cases where the cars are pretty close to each other performance-wise, it's really nice to see how things pan out between the two cars. For example, the Formula Fords have more power than the Formula 500s, but they are heavier, and that plays differently in different parts of the track. So in the braking zones and in the tight turns, the Formula 5, which is a few hundred pounds lighter, will generally perform better but pulling out of turns and going onto the straightaways, the Formula Fords are going to have the advantage. So without further ado, let's go! Unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties, I had to miss qualifying in the morning. So I'm starting at the back of the pack here, but let's see what I could do. Traditionally, turn one is always a nightmare, so I tend to back off a little bit. That way I can leave some space. So here we go through the first lap. See that car two ahead? One down, way too many to go. Now it's normal for the tires to be cold for the first few laps, especially in a car this light compared to the rest on the track. So I tend to take it easy for the first few laps. That way I don't make any mistakes and go off track. I went ahead and sped up the video here just to save some time. So as we come up on the tighter parts of the track, you'll notice where the Formula 500 shines. On the straightaways, like this one right here, they tend to pull away from me. But as we go into the tight braking zones and the tighter turns, I start to close the gap just in time for them to open the gap up again in the straightaways. But the tighter the section, the more of an advantage I have. That yellow car passed the orange car here on turn one, so I'm going to see if I could run him down myself. So I'm going to take a late break strategy here and try to get him through this turn. Yeah, 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 no, no. They just have more power. They just pull away from turns faster. Speeding up the video again here. And you can see as soon as we start approaching the straighter sections, they just pull away. But I try to get him in that turn one right there, and he denied me, he closed the door on me. But you can see I outbreak him, but there's not much I can do about power. Okay, let's go for it again on this left. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I got you. No! No! Go away! No! You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! A few laps later, I decide to push my braking zone here. And let's see what it does. Nope! Nope. Do not push the braking zone there. I managed to save it, but I scuffed up the underside of the car. Fast forwarding again here, and what the hell? So I just got lapped. Uh, that thing is the fastest car in the race. I believe it's a Formula Mazda, and they have about 175 horsepower. So they move pretty good. You can see they aren't really much quicker in the technical sections, but as soon as we get to something that's relatively straight, it's game over. The course is just starting to straighten out now and you can barely see him. And by the time I get on the straightaway, he's going into turn one. So 
So here I am collecting my participation trophy, the checkered flag, which denotes first place in my class. But again, I was the only person in my class. I still did pretty well, so I'm happy with my results. I wrapped up that race coming in 8th out of 13th when starting in last place. So on this race, which is the next day, I got to start off in 8th. Or I guess make that 9th because this dude passed me on basically the first lap. The heavier cars tend to heat up the tires faster, so I just have to kind of lay back a little bit until I have enough heat in the tires to have confidence in the car. Looks like I have my first dead bug on the camera lens. Obviously I'm in fast forward again here because I value your time. Uh, and I'm trying to chase this guy down with the green car. And again, you can see in the tight sections, I get right up to him. But the straights, he pulls away. So let's see if I could take advantage of my favorite passing zone here. Not quite. Close the gap a little bit. So I normally don't brake for this turn coming up, so I might beat him on the way in. Yep, just barely. So here's where things start to get a little interesting. Uh, if you look at turn one right here, there's a piece of debris. And I kind of note that for the future because my thought process is what exactly lies ahead. Unfortunately, my camera died right there, but a few turns later, I came up on a big cloud of dust, so I kind of let off a little bit. And as I got around the turn, I noticed that there was a car probably 100 feet off the side of the track. I took it really easy, and despite my best efforts, I too spun off. So as it turned out, someone dumped coolant all over the track, like five cars went off. Only one car went off so hard that he wasn't able to come back on the track. So the rest of us did finish, but unfortunately we had to take that whole sector really slow. I ended up in fifth out of 13, which is pretty good, considering that most of the cars in front of me, if not all of them, were just plain old faster cars. So I guess that's the best I could have done within reason. And I made it out alive with my car in one piece. So that's always a win. Part of my reasoning for making this video was to raise awareness for amateur racing and to get people interested in it. So if you want me to make more videos like this in the future, let me know in the comments. Of course, none of this would be possible without the SCCA, South Jersey Regional, Mars, and anyone who worked this event. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next year. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notifications.